Let's talk some toys in here. <laughs> Yo, what's everyone doing today, YouTube? It's the man child. All right, so we got another pretty cool NECA figure. Just got it in um, from the uh, iconic, I think it was a 1981 movie. I seen this when I was a kid. Like, Yeah, I was like 10. My mom let me see this. I'll tell you what, scared the hell out of me when I was a kid. And I look, you look back now, I were watching some years back. It was, uh, it was entertaining, you know, but it had some really cool werewolf transformations. Hold up to this day. But we got the American werewolf in London. All right, so check out the box art on that. Yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, it's like that iconic poster, remember, in the day. Really neat. There's a side, right? Side art back. We've seen it before. Rotating. Now, it looks like, so let's open it up. It looks like to me, this box is huge, man. Light glare. Um, look at that. So, yeah, it's just a big, just really just a big wolf. Size compared to my hand. Wow. And it looks like he has a second mouth, maybe, instead of, so I don't know if the jaw articulates, but, yep, yeah, we'll check it out and get him out. So, yeah, I'm really impressed with this already. But, um, yeah, I mean, let's, uh, let's bust this guy out of the box and let's check him out. All right, we've got him set up out of the box. And look at that wolf. That is incredible. Woo! Um, yeah, I just the aesthetics in it, uh, just the way it's, the articulation, the way it's designed. Now, you can see out of the box here, he comes with a closed mouth, and he does come with... So let me bring it in for a second and show you. All right, look at that head, man. Woo! That is awesome. So, yeah, that's the open mouth. Now, it doesn't, this one... So, I have, obviously, they don't have... There's no articulation to jaw. They just give you two different heads, but it's, that's pretty cool because then you don't have those just the cuts and the ugly, you know, just it looks more real or the movie. That's incredible, but look at the teeth in there. Really wild. It's um, yeah, nice soft plastic, the fangs, the blood, the eyes. Unbelievable. The fur looks so cool. That's the peg in the back. Yeah, really awesome. All right, so we'll check out. They'll start at the head here with this guy. Um, yeah, but obviously it's the closed mouth that, as I say, comes in a box. But even look at that. Look at the detail. Just the way the teeth are. The fangs. Just that has incredible eyes. Yep. Face. The, so this articulation kind of spins, you know. <laughs> it's so cool, too. Look how the wolves look like that. That's that. Like, oh, man, I better. That's it. I'm done. But, um, yeah, it can uh, go left to right, up and down. can rotate. Really good articulation for what it is. Now, before we get involved, let's, let's show you. So let's pop this head off. It kind of. It's just a ball peg. And this, this fur piece comes off here, like so. All right, so let's put the other head on. We'll check that out. Yeah, it's incredible. Look at that one. Really, like, evil looking. All right, so, so obviously I got the uh, open mouth head on now. I put the fur piece back on. You see how it comes off. So it's just a real so a small ball peg. Snaps in and out. Really easy. You got to apply, apply, like, apply a little pressure because it seems like, you know, the head kind of... You kind of see from this, it's just like, yeah, it pops out easy. So just, you know, make sure you're pushing on hard enough. Um, Yeah, look at the legs, even the body, like the torso. Got a really good cut in there, okay? So you kind of spin left to right and can rotate up and down, but not too much. It's it's for what it is, you know. I mean, it's kind of tight. I don't know if that's normal, but um, now we get to, let's see, with the arms. Look at that, go all the way out. Excellent. Give you one ball, let's say a single ball peg or a... um. Single, yeah, just a cut in the joint. It's not, there's no double. It just, it just pins exposed. So I'm kind of go all the way in out like that. <clears throat> Spin. There's a joint there. Now the arms too. You go all the way this way, left spin. And we got, and you also got the, uh, just a multitude of pins in here to give you that extra aesthetics in the foot, like the, how the wolf type of animals walk. But you got the, um, yeah, you got the lower one there. So it's got kind of, Good articulation too. It can spin a little bit. All right, you got it in the toes here. You got a you know a cut here, kind of tight. I like that. It was up and down, and that's really about it with there. So you got yeah, the elbow, shoulder, and all this in there. So I like how they did that. It came out uh, pretty well. All right, we got our legs back here. Oh, oh I wanted to too. these and the nails are really. These are really cool how they did these. These are really um. They're sharp, yeah, they're kind of sharp, but they are still kind of like that pliable plastic. So it doesn't feel like something's going to mess around and snap off, you know. So yeah, anyway. just a, excellent. Look at the range of motion back at hips. That's really cool. Same thing at a ball joint, okay? So you kind of go in and out for all different types of poses. Now, 
He does have the same thing, single hidden. He has a knee jump. It's really hidden. This one, I can't even move this one. Let me try this leg. This is where you got to be careful with this stuff with NACA, you know? Yeah, that one, I can't even get the move a little bit, but I don't know if it's, it can spin. It can spin, but I can't get it to go up up and down. Mine are kind of frozen, but I'm not going to mess with it too much. I'll have to heat that up, but it, it seems like to me a leg is straightened all the way out. Oh, there it goes. Here, okay, yeah, something like that, okay? And then you got the back, double hinge legs there. Really tight. And I'd rather, I'd, I prefer that and prefer to heat them up because this way when you pose, it's not something that's kind of known for joints where it gets really loose and the figure falls all over the place. So I, I kind of like that. But at the same time, you got to be careful with it. And um, same thing, you got excellent toe back there, just that extra hinge in the foot. So everything can rotate as well. So, yeah, I'm liking that. It's really cool with this figure. All right, so I'm just checking them out in some poses. So, yeah, I wanted to stand them up. Look at that. Now, unfortunately, like, you know, I say it over and over all my videos, I, I got to use it. You got to use figure stand, Kaiser stand. He, I kind of got him to balance, but the one leg, you know, the joint would fall out. I, it's just too hop, top heavy to do something like that. But if you got figure stands, you can really create some cool uh, just poses. So that's, I like that one. Really menacing. That tall that thing is. Yeah, I'm super excited, too, to have a wolf. Just finally a real, a, just a really cool wolf with all my horror stuff. I'm kind of set up a little uh, jump pose there. Yeah, I love, I'm loving your articulation, this guy, man. Incredible. You also want to want to show a little fur on the way they did the fur on the bottom. That's really cool. The aesthetics of it. Color's great. I need the neck if you're curious. Yeah, really, really excellent. Fur alone it almost looks like it could be real fur, you know, just the way it's sculpted. Just yeah, great job. All right, for a little comparison fun, I got this is the closest thing I have to a. Uh, Another type of werewolf figure, and I, this is incredible too. This is also made by NECA, like some years back. Um, this was from the uh, movie Dog Soldiers. If you haven't seen that, you want to see just a messed up, over the top, disgusting, awesome special effects werewolf movie. Check this movie out. But this was the uh, one of the wolves from it, werewolves, and him too. He came. Uh, what do you call it? Closed mouth head. All right, and yeah, just the base, incredible. The open mouth, just body parts, the guts and stuff. And, um, yeah, it's pretty cool, really. Very limited articulation, just the head and the arms and the waist. That was, I think that was it. So, yeah, that's kind of those two together. Um, yeah, I like them both. Really incredible. But this is, like, uh, this is the perfect wolf. This is the kind of wolf I need for my collection. Really awesome. All right, so that's uh, pretty much my review on the NECA American Werewolf in London figure. Um... Yeah, I think it's incredible, man. Just what what a cool you want a you want a big bad wolf here <laughs> for your toy collection? This is it. What an absolute incredible sculpt. I love the articulation. The two different heads they give you. I think that's a great in itself. Because I didn't know, you know, they could have articulated it. And I don't think I would have liked that with the pins and the way they chop it. This is a way better option. The yeah, just the fur looks real. It looks like it jumped out of the movie, man. Really something else. So yeah, I couldn't be happier. But um, yeah, hope hopefully it answers all your questions. I hope everybody's doing great. I appreciate your subscriptions and your comments. I usually get back to everybody one day. And I uh, hope everybody's um, just healthy and happy. And until next time, take care.